What's up, YouTube family? It's Brittany, your favorite PO, and today I'm going to give you some tips on what to expect at your first probation visit, what not to expect, and also a list of questions that you need to be prepared to ask your PO. So get a pen and a piece of paper and write all this down because you're going to want to take notes. people when they go to their probation visit they are a nervous wreck and I really don't understand why probably because I've never been on that side of the desk but let me tell you your PO is not a person that you should be careful of or a person that you should be worried about because at the end of the day they're only there to help you or to serve you better so these questions that I'm going to give you are very vital to your success at your first point. First things first, always be prepared to take a drug test. If it, even if it's your first visit, your PO will likely ask you to take a drug test. That's going to include alcohol. So if you drink alcohol, make sure you don't drink at least three those three days before the visit. Don't drink any alcohol because you're going to just set yourself up for failure. If you take prescription medication, bring your prescriptions with you. Like the copy that they give you at the pharmacy, bring that with you to your PO in case they drug test you and something like that comes up in the UA or the urinalysis. You'll be prepared. You'll have all this stuff documented so you don't get that violation. Yes, for marijuana, they test for that. I don't know if you know that, but I'm here to let you know they do. So make sure you quit smoking marijuana as soon as you sign that paper in court that says you are on probation. Because from that day forward, you are held accountable. So if you go to court and in that morning and that evening when you get out of court, you get home and you want to blow some drove, <laughs> whatever, don't do it. Because when you go to your first visit, which is normally between 30 and 45 days after you accept probation, or most sometimes it's sooner than that, and they'll probably drug test you. So stop smoking. I can't tell you how many times somebody has come into my office and they they said they they didn't tell me in court that I couldn't smoke or I thought I had to stop after I saw you or nobody told me that. Listen, let me tell you, let me help you out because that first time that you come to probation, you're already nervous, and then when you have this drug test pop up on you, you're probably gonna be like, well, damn, should I tell her I smoke? Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> But I know most people won't do that. So do not use marijuana at all after you sign for probation or any drugs, okay? Make sure you come to probation with clean clothes, clean hair, and brush your teeth. I don't know why some people have to be reminded of this, but that first impression, it makes a big difference, okay? I'm not saying this to be funny or anything like that. I'm telling you based off of experience of what I've seen over the years. If you want to make a good first impression, Please come to the office with good hygiene because when you leave, they gonna talk about you. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm not. I'm really serious. <laughs> that first visit is usually going to be like an orientation. They're gonna tell you all the rules and regulations. They're gonna go over the court order. You're gonna get a whole bunch of information real fast. Probably within 30 minutes, they're gonna be probably talking faster than I'm talking right now. <laughs> and giving you too much information for you to actually retain in that moment. So that's why I'm here. Make sure you read over your court order the night before you go to probation. That way, when this PO is talking to you, it doesn't seem like they're speaking a foreign language, okay? Because it's gonna be a lot. More than likely, the officer will ask you about the offense or what happened when you got arrested. Of course, you can tell them exactly what happened because you're already in trouble <laughs> you're already on probation so don't feel like you have to hide facts or whatever be open um because they're gonna ask so just be prepared to tell your side of the story they are gonna read the offense report themselves so they're gonna compare what you said to what they have in the offense report so there's no real point in you lying about what happened go ahead tell them what happened sometimes what you say won't match the offense report because maybe the officer left out some details or maybe things didn't really go down the way the officer said so just be prepared to explain like what happened um don't feel like you're going to incriminate yourself because whatever you say in regards to that case that case is already taken care of in court so nothing further is going to happen of course you don't want to incriminate somebody else <laughs> but if anything pertaining to you in this case you can go ahead and tell the officer there will be no further consequences another thing for you to be prepared for is to 
go through your criminal history. A lot of people have rap sheets as long as my arm, okay? And no, you probably don't remember all of that, but the officer will go through each one of those offenses with you. If not on the first visit, they're for sure gonna do it on the second visit. They wanna get a better idea of, you know, what type of things that you've been in and maybe if you've had any probation in the past and if you were successful at those. So that's gonna help determine like what your needs are for this current probation. Always ask your officer what are the stipulations for your particular case. In most states, in most areas, there's some standard set of rules for probation, but sometimes the judge can add special conditions to your probation term as well. It's not the best idea to bring your mom or your baby mama to your appointment or your boyfriend. The officer doesn't want to talk to them, they want to talk to you. This is adult probation, so you have to be present by yourself in that office, but don't feel intimidated. But you know, if you go to jail or if you violate probation, you're gonna be the one sitting in the county. Your mom or your brother or your girlfriend or whatever, or your boyfriend's not gonna be there. So go in the office, be open, <laughs> be prepared to talk to the PO because that's what you're there for ultimately. The probation officer sees multiple people a day, probably 10, 12 people sometimes. And the appointments usually go pretty fast, 30 minutes, max an hour sometimes. But the officer is usually just trying to get the information out. They're not trying to keep you there. They're not trying to take you to jail or whatever. They're not trying to be all up in your business that much on the first visit. Like this next one goes without saying, but some people just really don't understand. Don't bring any weapons to probation. Don't bring any pocket knives. Leave all that stuff in your vehicle. Even if you have any metal at all on your person, just leave that stuff in your vehicle because you're probably gonna go through a metal detector or something similar. Okay, now these are the specific questions that you need to ask your officer. What date do you get off probation? Believe it or not, so many people do not know what day they're supposed to get off probation. Question number two, am I eligible for early release? That is very important. And if you are eligible, ask them what are the requirements to be granted early release or what are the requirements for me to be eligible for early release oftentimes your probation officer will coordinate with you your appointment times and dates just to better serve you if you have work or school or something like that to so already have your calendar for next month available that way when the PO asks you or tells you oh this is the date you need to come in you can look at your calendar and say oh I have work on this day I have this on this day so that the times don't conflict and you don't have to call and reschedule because that gets so annoying so fast okay <laughs> The final thing you should ask about and make sure that you have is your probation officer's direct telephone number and their email address in case anything comes up and you need to contact them. You don't want to have to call the main office. You don't want to have to call their supervisor. You want to get in direct contact with them. So make sure you have those two things. Again, the direct contact number for the PO and their email address if they're willing to give it to you because not all probation officers want to give out their email address. I don't know why, but... I used to give out my email address, which I found it easier to connect with defendants. Um, sometimes people are nervous to talk to their POs over the phone, so I get it. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know down in the comments below if you've been to probation and some other things went down that I need to tell my viewers about because we're all trying to help everybody over here. We don't want anybody to fail on probation. We don't want anybody getting violated. We don't want nobody going to jail. So if you have some tips, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, y'all stay safe.